Imagine a time and place where people from all around the world work together to develop new inventions, discover new knowledge, and understand more about our universe. A place where the language was science used to make the world a better place. Such a time and place existed. It was a long time ago and has almost been forgotten. Many centuries ago, there lived a Muslim polymath by the name of Ibn Sina. He was born in 980 AD and was arguably one of the most important doctors and philosophers of his time. Ibn Sina, or Avicenna, as he is referred to in English, was one of the smartest people of his time. So much so that he outsmarted all of his teachers and finding a tutor for him was a very difficult task. Hello, I am Ibn Sina, or as many will know me as Abyssinia. I am the father of modern medicine. My work in medicine was mainly about the prevention of diseases rather than the treatment, which is important in today's world. I left behind a lot of advice on the use of herbal medicine and biologically active points for various diseases. By the age of 14, Ibn Sina had mastered many subjects and memorized the Quran. And at 16, he had began to practice and learn about medicine. Although Ibn Sina learned a lot about law and natural sciences, his main talent was in medicine. At the age of 18, he famously cured a Samanid chief and was a master in the most important works in science. And by 20, he was one of the wisest people of his time. And so, as we see great Muslim minds have walked this earth as scholars, scientists, doctors, philosophers, and engineers. The true sign of intelligence is not knowledge, but imagination. So if you dare to imagine like those before us, you will become creators who bring dreams to life.